hey guys how are you all doing today i hope you are well welcome to my channel my name is nadine and welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber you're loyal i like you if you're not subscribed please make sure you subscribe to this channel also make sure you follow my social media which will appear all over the screen so today's video is a story time on how i met the queen of brunei and i told her to go to egypt because it's cheap i told a queen of a country to go to egypt because it's cheap it's affordable little did i know <laughs> if you guys want to hear all about this story then keep on watching So one of my TikToks actually went viral because of this story time and I just thought I would tell it here in detail. If you didn't know, I work at Selfridges and I used to work for a brand called Charlotte Tilbury and obviously as any other brand you do have a set targets to meet by the end of the day so one time it wasn't a good day for me in terms of sales i was waiting for god to send me some customers i saw this group of asian tourists standing by mac if you've been to selfridges the beauty hall works we are here and back is in front of us i'm so focused on making my target that i don't even realize what's happening around me this beautiful lady with such elegance when i tell you that elegance was dropping of her i was just mesmerized by her fashion her style also her diamonds i did not realize that she was wearing diamonds i was just thinking wow really pretty jewelry <laughs> peasant loves and peasant literally you know there's different classes i would say i'm just a normal girl i don't pay attention to designer i don't pay attention to jewelry the only thing i would notice is literally dior that's it i don't really care for designer yes peasant behavior over here i am not really educated in diamonds and the type of diamonds and like the brands of diamonds yeah so the reason why i was not making a lot of money that day i think it was because it was like about the start of rona it wasn't really a global pandemic at the time it was just like news that we were just hearing right in a way that kind of affected the footfall i would say selfridges depends a lot on tourists so when obviously tourists are not around selfridges becomes very quiet i literally used to call selfridges an airport like a lot of customers i had would be tourists i would remember them annually coming to get their stock anyways so this woman she walks past and she's like having a look but she's walking away i think she was shy because you know sometimes you want to shop sales people intimidate you but i was like hi how are you do you want to come over and have a look so yeah keep in mind i am talking to her and she's walking away but like i'm kind of walking after her this is how desperate i was i don't pass to people i don't suffocate people basically i understand that commission has a huge part of why staff follow customers around but i don't like that and i never did that to people unless i genuinely was desperate which was this day <laughs> so i followed her around and I'm, she's like what is this brand and she's still like holding back and i was like like, oh it's the british brand you can have a look i'll help you around she was looking at the looks bar if you are familiar with charlotte tilbury they have the 10 looks is it 10 or more now i don't remember i was like these are the 10 iconic looks they come like this in a pack i was trying to sell her the whole look the whole look cost about wow i forgot oh my god i forgot the looks were pretty expensive but i girl was desperate again and i was trying to make my commission i was trying to make my money i wouldn't mind you buying three or two because you look rich keep in mind again i didn't notice her surroundings i'm so stupid just thinking about it now i'm so dumb she was just having a look at the eyeshadow she obviously liked them so she goes i would like one of this two of this da -da -da -da. and when she started saying one of this two of this i was like ah, okay we're making commissions today i was so excited i honestly was like yes god sent you to me come here i'm going to make my target today oh my god i forgot and we had the reward target and the magic target and i always wanted to get the magic target which is the higher target because obviously commission on charlotte tilbury is amazing i was so rich when i worked at charlotte tilbury i'm not even gonna lie i would say the best thing about charlotte tilbury is the pay and the commission and how easy it is to sell because charlotte tilbury has such loyal customers customers who would come in for new launches and buy the whole launch i don't really see that with all brands you can tell i speak quickly right if you're a quick customer i know how to quickly introduce you to everything in like seconds so after she's like can i have one of these two of these three of these i realized she's a big spender she has money she has the capacity to spend i instantly thought let me introduce her to our skincare line not only are the looks from charlotte will be the most expensive thing but also our skincare such as the night cream you want me to film any videos in regards to how it is working on charlotte tilbury the pros and cons why i left 
left please let me know because i worked there for quite a long time so yeah i tried to take her to the skincare section but she was not interested i'm thinking obviously sis over here is not going to be using charlotte tilbury not even in a rude way charlotte tilbury skincare is actually nice and although it is luxurious it's not super luxurious i'd say charlotte tilbury is considered expensive by normal people but obviously for someone like this person trust me like it's probably like peasant it's just like ill 70 pounds for a moisturizer that's not enough a thousand pounds and maybe i'll think about it i think she probably gets facial to look after her skin so i'm sure she doesn't really need skincare but i did try as i said i was desperate whilst i'm doing this she's like chatting to me she was like are you muslim i was like yeah i am alhamdulillah she was wearing a headscarf and i was like i'm egyptian have you been to egypt and she's like no i was like oh my god you have to go because it's so cheap it's so cheap the fact that she's wearing diamonds on her fingers diamond brochet on her damn blazer she literally looks like queen elizabeth you know how queen elizabeth wears these colorful suits that match she's wearing colorful printed suits and i am telling her you should go to egypt because it's cheap how delusional could you actually be anyways we move on she literally smiled a sweet lady keep in mind there are people following her she has two women that are with her i think they're like helpers and then she had i think three security or two security there was also other people that are walking with her did it click to me that this person is important did it click to me that these were security absolutely not i thought it was a family gathering <laughs> Are you done showing off with your stupid motorbike? Let me know when you're done. You're interrupting my important story time. I really love this foundation, you guys. So I have a justification to why I thought this was like a family meeting, friends. Because we got a lot of Asian customers who would come in a massive group. And they would have a chauffeur with them. Someone that would just like take their bags to their cars. And they would do a lot of shopping. I remember even after work seeing them leave Selfridges with this like massive van. Waiting for them outside. So I thought it was the same idea idea but i was so wrong so anyways she's like have you got everything prepared for me and i was like yeah of course she's like do you remember everything thing with me yeah alhamdulillah i have such a good memory when it comes when it comes to my sales in real life memory who who is she i have no idea so i basically was like yeah i have everything ready for you at the till and i said this i said follow me to the till i said follow me to the till <sighs> The thing is with me, right? I treat everybody the same. I guess it's a good thing to have. And then I see her walking and leaving the counter. That's when I started to panic. I was like, did she change her mind? I was so upset. My commission was just walking away. I started to panic. That sale was about 500 pounds. It would be phenomenal. And I was full of sorrow. I was like, one of these bitches that I work with gave me evil eyes. I knew it. I never wanted to be. Because everyone was just staring at me like, whilst I'm taking the stuff out of the draw quickly putting it on the tail i could see everybody's eyes like again it was a hard day of sales and everybody's eyes was like nadine obviously got her freaking sale and i'm thinking you little haters leave me alone as i'm standing by the till thinking she changed her mind last minute the security comes over and he's wearing this black suit he had the blazer and say this is the blazer right picks out the cash and he's like how much give him that was a stack a stack or 50 so i was like just just give me a minute so i can scan and tell you the total i'm regaining the joy i'm regaining the hope in life and the fact that these motherfuckers eyeballs did not give me evil eyes and god managed to protect me i start scanning the funny fact is i have such a bad memory guys but I actually remember the total. I think it was like 492 pounds. And as I'm scanning, one of our helpers comes back and she's like, The lady said this is for you. And she gave me a 50 pound note tip. She gave me 50 pounds. How generous of her. Like this is the biggest tip I've had in my life. I was so shocked because I didn't expect anything from this i don't value people or treat people extra nice just based on their wealth like i remember one time indian couple they look like they're rich but they look like they're foreigners who came to the counter once she had an hermes bag the bag was bigger than her it clearly is where she stacked her ego because the disrespect of this woman i didn't serve her she left her to herself so i'm standing and her husband he's just shorter than her i know short people sometimes have ugh, i don't want to be mean but i will be mean so I 
feel like he was insecure about his height but i don't know why because his girl suited him like she was just as short as him anyways <laughs> so she basically was just clicking her fingers at me from across the counter she's like hello anyone wants to help come over i was like a baby girl a baby girl let's get one thing straight i'm not your maid back home that's not how you speak to people in this country people here know their rights shit like that is really not tolerated in england maybe back home that's tolerated but not in here i looked at her in the eyes and i turned around and minded my business i was like you can keep saying hello until we close down and i'm still not even gonna give you attention so that's what i mean by recognizing wealth on people it does not matter to me what you're carrying who you are like i will still give you a good customer service if i feel like you deserve it or if you're nice like you have to give good customer service especially at charlotte tilbury i'll say the one pro of working at charlotte tilbury teach you how to give good customer service so as i was saying the security takes the bag with the makeup inside and he just walks off and i'm just like okay great and i literally go to my colleagues i'm like guys i got 50 pounds i can't believe like i got 50 pound note tip from somebody and my colleague was like quickly put that away and i was like why he's like because they see you on the camera and they think that you've taken it out of the till especially that this person paid in cash i quickly put it inside my pocket and then my colleague comes over to me and he tells me do you know who you just served and i was like no i've got no idea like who is it and he was like this is the queen of brunei i was like the queen of what sorry and he goes to me it's the queen of brunei i was like what the hell is brunei <laughs> forgive my ignorance i had no idea what brunei was so i went on my phone did a little googly google i googled the queen of brunei and i kid you not it was the same person i was like i told her to go to egypt because it's cheap the woman could buy my entire country if she wanted to she could just like rent out egypt for a day i think brunei royalty is one of the richest royalties i think in the world what do you guys think of the look i like it but i don't like i think it's obviously too much but at the same time i don't really do my makeup like that all the time he's giving me drag queen i like the lip a lot actually i have size on my eyelid actually because all my life i've been saying i have eczema on my eyelid it's actually psoriasis which is even worse and i shouldn't really be wearing makeup but yeah this is the story i hope you guys enjoyed it I I met the queen of brunei and that was interesting i guess when i posted that video i had a lot of people tell me their own encounters with her and how lovely she is i think this girl she used to work in hermes and she would come and like tip everybody like 50 pounds she's so generous she's oozing elegance and royalty i'm not even gonna lie guys you could sense it from her like she's just elegant and very like calm and collected and i'm here like <laughs> There's nothing wrong with either of our characters. We're obviously all different people, but she just oozes royalty and class. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the story time. And if you want me to film any other stuff, let me know in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video if you like and if you don't, no problem at all. Also, share it if you find it funny. Don't forget to follow my social media as well. Everything will be here and down in the description bar below. Have a lovely day. Bye. I don't know if I like this look. Do I like her? She ain't got no money, her clothes are kinda funny, her hair's kinda wild and free. Yes, I have ADHD, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep listening.